It is easy. Sorry, jeez. Jeez. Hey, everybody. There's people coming in. <clears throat> I was just hawking up a lung and had the hiccups, so don't mind me. And I was too lazy to do my hair today. So you get the I like the little tail. bun. It's nice and poofy. Well, it is. So, yesterday, oh, someone said they love the doggy. Oh, yay. That's Fred Mertz. Mr. Mertz. <clears throat> Long story short as I can make it, Fred Mertz, I got him... July and I started wrestling September so a couple months before I started wrestling um, I got Fred Mertz so he's been with me in my whole wrestling career yeah. oh Mertz he's an yeah. old man river but we love him <laughs> we love him and thank you guys for showing up for our thirsty Thursday wine tasty Vic the Brick in the house hey. secret society shout out right there I'll drop kick you what bring it hold on let me have some room here okay Let's go. Yeah! I bet you didn't see that coming. That's why you're on the floor now. Fred, you look Stone like you're in a poop. I don't know. He has hip issues, so you never know. No girl kick balls. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. Or when someone is approaching you, you go, uh, whack. Like you look like you're. Like, oh, I'm afraid. No, I'm going to whack you right in the... You go down from the eyes. No. Okay. So <laughs> something that... Yes, it's true. Yes, it self-defense. It is. But I don't want to go too far down the track okay. here or down okay. the rabbit hole. So yesterday, Danielle and I both had to work. And yes. we weren't able to do our monthly Wine Wednesday. First Wednesday of the month. Yes. And then after this, the Regal Beagle video chat, which Yay. is with my secret society. Go to patreon.com forward slash Shelly Martinez. If you want to join that, if you missed it, go to my Twitter and it's in my um, bio there. You can click on it. <clears throat> so we're going to do a wine tasting. But before we get started, I was telling Danielle right before we went live that yesterday I was doing background work on a music video. Mm -hmm. And the people, <clears throat> here's what happens. If anyone out there knows about doing background work or anything like that, you know what I'm talking about. So there comes a time where there's like a shift. Everyone's in their own little cliques. Yeah, they find, yeah. And so when they try to find their different cliques, you get to see people and where they fit in. And there was a certain <laughs> group of people that they were getting on my, they weren't together, but just in different groups. Do you wrestlers paint your toes? Being a wrestler has nothing to do with painting my toes. I am a very girly girl and I paint my damn toes. Yeah. Anyways. We're into nails here. <clears throat> Tell your mother your father has a girlfriend. Well, that's interesting because our dad is dead. Thanks for bringing it up. So. What it? Heart I don't pressure. even know what that means. Anyway. Wow. So I was at this thing yesterday and when I saw the people kind of migrating into their own little cliques, I noticed that different people in those different cliques were really getting on my nerves. So... When I realized that, a friend of mine recently was visiting here, and she said, you know, something to the effect of how people who seem too social, like she just, like she thinks twice about. And we kind of talked about mm -hmm. that, and it's crazy because these people yesterday that were getting on my nerves, I noticed they were the social butterflies. They were taught the whole time, and I even thought to myself, there was two guys in particular, these twins. And I remember thinking to myself, because you know how we always connect with twins? I didn't like these twins. Oh. I did not like them. And when I was watching them and when they would separate them, because they didn't like to be separated, so when they would separate them, um, they're, like, they would, I would say to myself, watch, both of them are probably totally just talking the ear off of somebody because they don't know how to shut up and just be, like, just be. Like, we're not supposed to be talking, by the way. Like, they yell at you. Yeah, say, like, Shh. Please, everyone on the set, please, no be talking. Because they're trying to organize everything, you know? So, <clears throat> it's like they're part of those people who aren't listening. Mm. Or respectful. <sighs> and so, every single time, every single time I looked, 
there was one over there and over there and there they are. They weren't famous twins. They were just doing background work. Um, they were real proud that they're from Russia oh, and that they're okay. twins. They dress the same. And when oh, they okay. talk to each other, something that got on my nerves, they go, hey, twin. Da, 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 da. It's like, hey, tw it's how they identify. It. Well, hey, Shelly. <laughs> but that's okay. different. Hey, Shelly. But if you were like, Hey sister. hey, sister. Hey, sister. Sister. Or, sister. They didn't call each other by each other's names. The whole time, they called each other by twin. Twin. Hey, twin. And then they would talk in um, Russian. So, hey, twin. Hey, person. Make it work. Hey, person. Make it work. No make negative work. vibes to the Russian twins. I'm just saying. Just make it work. It got on my nerves. And it made me <laughs> not trust. And then I was telling Danielle. It was so crazy because... In this video, I'm not supposed to talk about it, so I'll oh. keep it brief. Woo. But what really threw good. me off was seeing the group of people, and then some of them, like, okay, with the guy ratio, right? Okay, so there was a lot of guys there, and a good percentage of the guys were gay. And they were open about it, so it's not me yeah. being like, oh, they're gay. Like, they were gay. They're gay guys, okay, whatever. And then a huge percentage of them were not gay. But as the time went on, the gay guys started being all over the females. And I don't know if the females were feeling like comfortable because they're gay, but um, they were being like raunchy. I was like, I thought he was gay. Were people drinking? No. Huh. And then the hetero guys started having little conversations about like, would they, wouldn't they? And then there was one part where they needed people to kiss. So the casting director had her phone out and I thought to myself, she's probably seeing who wrote in the notes that they were down to kiss somebody else. Cause that happens like in a casting. Oh yeah, say, yeah. Hey, if you're cool with like being like kissing somebody on camera to seem like you're a couple. And I'm usually someone who says no. Yeah, I'm, me I too. Like I'm a little conservative. Me it's too. It's okay. People who like. It's <laughs> I've everyone. done it when I've been in a role and I was like yeah. a main person in the role. Yeah. Like I did a movie where I had made out with a guy. But other than that, no, not really. So, um, when I saw her do that, I said, okay, whatever. So she grabbed this guy, and this guy was one of the guys that's hetero, hetero, but as the time went on, like, just kept bringing things up. Oh, maybe he was trying to testing the water. He was um, interested. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't just him, though. But he was, like, the one that stood out to me. So when the casting director called his name, I don't even know what it was, um, <clears throat> she, Fred Mertz is back. Hi! So when this he went, okay. he, she was like, okay, so this is him, okay? I'm, let's pretend you're the guy, okay? So when she goes, come with, when I say come with me, like walk to right here, okay? Okay. So you're the guy, and I'm okay. the other guy, and they're like talking the whole time, and I'm overhearing this conversation of these guys that are not supposed to be gay are acting gay, and they're talking about these things, and okay. then she goes, okay, come here, so go over there. And so he's with, supposed to be with this other girl, this guy, he leaves her and stands right here. Like, I'm like, he wants to kiss him! He wants to kiss them. And these are both guys that said, unless it's James Dean, I wouldn't do it. So it went from, unless it's James Dean, I wouldn't do it, to that guy left the pretty girl that was supposed to be his date to follow the guy in case they needed him to kiss him. And then when the casting person got a girl for the guy to kiss, um... Then that's when they made jokes. Oh, well, maybe it should have been us. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Well, maybe off the clock, one of them said. Ooh. Ah! Well, so a lot of these people maybe. I'm talking about were the social butterflies. Like my friend said, well, just say it was their night. Hey, if it's your night to figure you out, then go for it. Be true to yourself. The girl in the black hair, which my hair is actually brown. I know, but you, you're a brunette. You know? But if they said, I look like the woman so from the, Desperate the Housewives. I don't know. Oh, the wine. Okay, so that's getting warm. Okay, so here we go. Are we getting to the wine Wednesday here? Yeah. Or Thirsty Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. Yeah, because um, we're busy, and <clears throat> before we go forward, um, life is crazy, and something that we definitely acknowledge, especially here in California, we can't help but acknowledge, is all the fires. Yeah. It's been a really, really crazy time, and. 
you know, I feel sorry and we're conspiracy theorists and we have our own views on different things, but ultimately how we feel is there's a lot of innocent people going through things and having a hard time and gosh, losing your house, I can imagine just being afraid of lots of things and I mean there's even beyond that lots of things going on in the world. So we're just doing a cheers in a non-cheesy like way. I like that. But just to the world and just to the things that aren't totally, I mean I know they're covering the fires and everything come, going around here but all things that all humanity is going through and all the struggles that we have, I'm not saying alcohol is the answer, but saying Here's to you and the struggle and just moving forward and being positive. And that's why we do this. And we were just really busy. Lots of things are going on. So but that's why we're doing Thirsty Thursday. And I like that, Danielle, because one of the things that I said in the Twitter, the tweet that I put out that we're going live was that um, this is a celebration. Yeah, so. it's a celebration of life. And, um... It's good to be grateful, and we can get caught up in our ways and feel poor me, but at the end of the day, we should remind ourselves how lucky and blessed we are. I agree. And be mindful of the things that are going around us. I agree. Yeah. So, anyways. All right, so uh, why don't you go ahead and pour that for us, and we'll see if anybody... Um, here we go. Here is the wish flower. And oh, we've had wish flower light. before. Let's see. There we go. Oh, it's backwards because we're using oh, that camera. But so, it's a rosé. It is. And we've done the Cabernet and the white wine of this. And this we, I think rose. we started off with the white wine. And we love champagne. And I love rosé. And I think I've made a rosé lover out of you. I was a rosé lover first. Oh, with the Franzia and everything. Oh, gee. Pink champagne. Oh, pink champagne, yes. Damn. If I already remember. Okay, and those I love. Okay, let's do it. All right. Sorry. Do you want to grab your glass? Live it on the edge! Live it on the edge! I hope you guys are having a good Thursday. I keep saying, I want to say Wednesday, because usually we do this on Wednesdays. Oh, my God. You shoot my eye out. <laughs> Live it on the edge! And the way you pour champagne, or any bubbly substance... Don't spill you, it. you go like this, and then you do slowly, and then you tilt your cup up so there's not a lot of foam. No, and we're not lesbians, we're sisters. <laughs> this is always that person. But anyways, how about, you wanna talk about that, how about that fantastic pour, and if you know anything about pouring and champagne and alcohol or bartending i say kudos to that i do too i appreciate that you say you're sorry i just i get really Aww. upset about that like here it is well, okay here's the, the thing i do appreciate the apology because here's the thing while danielle does her other Living excellent pour edge. here um it bothers me when people say that because Danielle and I have an awesome relationship and we've gone through a lot of crap together because we are sisters. So that's why it bothers me so much when people say that because it's like, why can't we just be like tight? Like, let's say you didn't know that we were sisters. Why can't we just be tight homegirls? Like, why does it have to? Well, cheers and let's try. Baraka Tudonine, Elihelu Malikalom, Priyan Gaffin. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth fruit of the vine. Lahayam. Women are sexual, too, but we don't have to always go there, you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, there's some girls that do. Yeah, that's true. See? So, that's true. It depends on person to person. Yeah. See how I'm bothered now? Well, hey, this is awesome. This I'm, is awesome. Go yeah. ahead, give your assessment. So, I love, love, love rosé from my days of being a bartender at a French restaurant. I learned the world of rosé. And Shelly actually, she brought it up. To, she introduced me to Rose, Franzia, Arbor Mist, those days. Um, excuse me, let's not forget about Andre. That was the queen oh, of pink Oh, Andre, champagne. yes. Oh my gosh. Let's, let us not forget Andre. If you want to see our toes, you have to pay for it. Go to patreon.com forward slash Shelly Martinez. Oh, you know what? 
We are actually all about nails here, and I have. They don't want to see it for that. Oh. They want to see it for their sexual pleasure. Oh well, I mean, I'm about nail art, but. I know, but that was just me saying, like, stop talking about the toes. <laughs> and thank you. Um, are you too okay because of the wildfires? You must have. Am I a dude? Did someone ask me if I'm a dude? No, they're just calling you dude. Okay. So anyways, we are doing okay. Yeah, and Danielle talked about it before you came in, I think. Well, I just, it's so, like, fast and teeny tiny font that I can't see what Don't you're saying. Don't worry about it. I'll read it. And if it's worth bringing up, I will. You won't see our toes. <laughs> toes to you <laughs> is porn, right? Okay, person that, okay, hold oh on, God, hold okay, on. Let's person that's talking about the toes. Person. That's your porn, right? Let's be real. You're behind the camera. I mean, not behind the camera. G-O-K-1. No porn. Okay. But you get sexual gratification by seeing toes, right? Like, that turns you on. You're at work. But it turns you on, right? No? Then why do you want to see them? It's your job? That's why you want to see them? You need to know, but why do you need to know? Like, why do you need to know what We're our just toes curious. look like? like? Like, I'm just hey, you brought it up. I'm really you. Curious. You brought up the toes thing. Right. You and Slick Bronson have been bringing them up. No, I don't want to block them. I'm curious. Yeah, let's let's just learn about like people. okay fetish most likely, but I want to know like yeah. I want to hear Geo whatever. I want to talk to him. Where are you at? Are you still in here? Gio? We're not going to be mean. I'm not trying to be a bitch. I'm just yeah, like, if you want to keep bringing it up when we're trying to have Thirsty Thursday, that's all. I'm curious about your toes. Okay. Why are you curious about my toes? I'm just drinking my rosé and watching this happen. Like you are. Let's see here. We're waiting for Gio. We're stopping Thirsty Thursday because... Why do you want to see them? Like, I know you want to see them, but why do you want to see them? Just be blunt. I don't know what's going on the screen. Oh, no, I do. no, it's fine. You're fine. Just hang but out. But Lover Today, I asked him that. I'm marking a book, making a book about toes. Why are you making a book about specifically toes? I think feet are, like, I mean, I don't mean to sound biased, but feet are kind of gross and they smell. I just want to, I want him to admit that he loves toes and that it turns him on. Oh. I'm not saying that he's a freak. I'm just saying. I work for my <laughs> boss. So See, you work for you, your boss. You're going to be here all day. And <laughs> you come on to our Thirsty Thursday wine tasting because for your boss, you need to know what our toes look like. I will never admit that. Oh, Geo. <laughs> Geo, you just gotta be real. And that's a stretch. Some like Just cause talking to him, I don't drink. No one asked you about anything about drinking. And lover, today we all do have fetishes. But it's interesting yeah. because GOK1, no he kept saying this while we're trying to have this, so I would, I will never admit that about toes. I bet you won't. Okay, so I'm going to ignore no. your toe request from here on out because I gave you an opportunity to enlighten all of us and about, hold on, about why, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. trying to talk, sorry. Sorry. I, why you insist on seeing our toes and I don't think it has to do with because of your boss or whatever the hell you're saying. So I'm just going to ignore you from now on because I gave you that chance. I, I stopped everything to give you the benefit of doubt. I don't care if other people want to see my toes also. You're the one that kept bringing it up more because I kept seeing it popping up with your little purple icon there. So, you know, I addressed it. Um, I'm sure you can Google it later while you're jacking off to the toes. So we're going to finish up here well, uh, our Wine Wednesday. Well, cheers to you and your uh, straightforwardness. I'm just sitting back and watching this happen as everyone Because! It's no, a I mean, it's good to call people out because a lot of people go under the radar and they get away with stuff and it's just like because i'm over here because here's the thing i'm trying to engage with our audience because we wouldn't do this if you guys weren't hanging out with yeah. us so it's like sharing common that's the whole like thing we're trying to do here we're trying to like come together and so when somebody keeps bringing up something that has nothing to do with anything we're promoting the only thing we're promoting is that 
we're here drinking wine. I don't want to hear about toes. So I, I got a little upset. So it's okay. As you should. As you should. Anyways, I like this. It feels like it is a pink champagne. Um, I've been a huge fan of rosé, as Danielle was talking about earlier. So just show those toes so we're all satisfied. It's oh no! After all of that, I know. he still comes I know. back. Okay. I know. That's the, hold on. That's why. Oh, why? We're all trying to move forward. That's with why. Our life. That's why. why. So, like, that's why I had to say something. Like, I know some of you guys are probably bored, and this is ridiculous to you. It is so ridiculous. But it's, it's like happening. that's why I heard a wet fart. What? Is <laughs> <laughs> that on your end? Anyways, I think we're just gonna call it a quits here, and I'm gonna go to my secret society yes. who who won't ask Contained me about the toes. Fun. And you should join us if you're a member. Come have fun with us, and it won't be so quitters. Weird. No, we do this every month, and we do it just to be fun because I do every month have a chat on with my um, secret society. So we always thought, hey, why not do a Wine Wednesday like right before it because it kind of gets us like, woo, yeah, and like we're hanging out and a lot of people that are tuning in, happy birthday, Ken. A lot of people oh, that are birthday. turning tuning in are people from my secret society. So it's a way for us to just like kind of be fun and like ease into it like if we were at a bar or something like that because we yeah. love to go to happy hour. So um, and happy birthday, Justin. So... It's cool, but I don't feel like doing it anymore because now I'm upset. And maybe that's stupid, Aww. but... Because a lot of... Here's why. A lot of other people would have just, like, ignored it and not said anything. And they would have said, oh, you know, just even giving any kind of attention to it. That's what to people the want. Dude. But I gave him the benefit <laughs> of doubt to give himself a chance to talk, so... Well, Mr. Foot Fetish, um, you did not stomp us down with your fetish. <laughs> Pizza Pablo, I like your name. What's with the toes? Well, GOK1 ruined it for everyone. He, he kept talking about these toes and these feet. And, and then he keeps saying, I'm not a toes guy. Because you're getting it for your boss, right? Hey, man. Just your boss. Say who you are. Live the <laughs> life you want to live. No more secrets. Be out there. <laughs> <laughs> and But Slick has his back because he's like, he didn't ruin anything. Don't be sorry. Just be you. And that's the thing. That I was ex fight. I was accepting GOK1 <laughs> that you were a toes guy. Like I was accepting <laughs> it. But because you came on yeah, my feed, our dude. feed, excuse me, and was talking about it, I thought, "Okay, cool. Let's talk about it then." And then you punked out. And because you punked out, that made me mad cuz I was really curious. I was really curious what it was. So, you know, Would it's been be fun. I guess <laughs> Let's the Vic the people. Brick. Look at Vic the Brick is a secret society member, and he's like, "Don't leave us." Well, you could see us well, on the thing. Yeah, we're gonna go to. Our I bet next you party. have pretty feet. See what I'm saying? But he's not about the toes. I just went on this whole thing. But you know what? We do have pretty feet, but we're not gonna talk about it right now. Anyways, going to the Regal Beagle. If you guys love Three's company like we do, you know what the Regal Beagle means. And it's a time of, you can have this feeling, you can have any feeling, but it's time to go with Regal Beagle, your downtown go-to place. And that's where we're going now. We're going there. Until next time. And it's exclusive. And this rosé was awesome. But yeah, Trader Joe's, awesome. Our Trader Joe's is our unofficial sponsor. I thought we were going to drink. So did I, Slick, Broxton, Broxton, but you didn't even help. You were like egging them on. Uh-oh. Bye.